welcome back to the channel. We're going to turn a tequila class azul bottle into a lamp. I hope I said that correctly. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, to start with, you need the bottle in order to make a lamp. So we need a bottle, and then the next thing you need is a harp wiring kit. And you can get them off Amazon, eBay. Uh, they're about 13, 15 bucks. In this case, we're just going to use a uh, chrome heart kit. You need that. And the most important part is that you need a glass and tile ceramic drill bit. And you can pick this up at any hardware store. We got it from Lowe's. Um, it's just a four pack from Cobalt. I think these are like $20 for a four pack. We will be using the 5 16ths today. Um, you also need a pair of pliers, screwdriver, and then a drill. In this situation, we are using a hammer drill, but we are not using the hammer drill option. You need to just use a regular drill for this. Um, we tried it already in the slow speed. It needs to be more in about the medium speed. Um, in some of the other videos that I have referenced, they use water. And even though these bits say water is required, I never use water when I drill into tile. If I'm doing uh, bathroom anchors like rope hooks or towel bars going into tile, I never put water on my drill bits in this situation because this is ceramic. Um, it doesn't, I don't see a problem with it. So we're going to not use water today. And then we're also, of course, needing a vacuum and then a pillow or a blanket to be able to lay the bottle down on. So the first thing we're going to do is wash it out because there is still some residue in the bottle and then we're going to set it up so we can go ahead and drill. Okay, so now that we have the bottle cleaned out, I do have it on a moving blanket. Um, basically just so it doesn't go anywhere and it's a little bit safer because we will be applying quite a bit of pressure while trying to drill this. Um, again, like I said, we are using the 5 16 uh, tile bit and I do have it in speed two and just a regular drill. Um, I am going to show you guys the real time of how long it takes to drill this just so you get some idea of how long this would take you. So basically we're going on the back of the lamp, the bottle, and just going center. Now this bottle is, I don't know if you want to use the word recess, and so I'm actually going to come up a little bit higher on the back of the bottom or bottle. I'm probably going to come up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and I'm just kind of aiming for center. The drill bit may move a little bit, and honestly, that's fine. So um, basically, I'm going to try to do this myself. It is a little bit easier if you do have somebody else holding the bottle, because this is a little scary to do yourself, but I'm a professional and I'm gonna do it myself. So um, just going to try to aim. And I am now noticing that every bottle, it does have this pattern at the bottom. And the first one that I've done, because I have done this before to make sure that I had some idea of what I was doing, it had more of a center line. And this one I'm actually having to go off centered. Um, even though it's off pattern, I'm still probably going to keep it center of the bottle and I'm coming up about half an inch. Let's call it five eighths. And here we go. And of course, what you see is not smoke, it's just dust from the ceramic. Um, and you do have to apply quite a bit of pressure to it. Now, you don't want to apply so much that it slides off or you break the bottle, but you want to apply enough that the drill bit actually gets into it. And if you want to stop, you know, kind of halfway and vacuum it up. Um, let me show them up close what kind of bit this is. Basically, I call it like an arrowhead bit. Um, it's just just a glass and tile bit. Now they do have um, masonry drill bits. That is not what I would recommend for this. I would definitely recommend a glass and tile bit. Um, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and continue drilling. <laughs> already 
about halfway there. So, and it's drilling super clean and I don't have any chip chippage. So we're just gonna continue. And so I did stop there because I did poke all the way through it. Now, of course, I haven't drilled the hole completely, but I am going to vacuum it up and drill a little bit slower. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to now finish it off. Now, if you set the drill bit in the hole and you start the drill bit, you chance actually chipping out the edge. So start the drill before you put it in the hole. Okay, and so there we have it. A little bit of cleanup. That drilled fairly easy and we can put the drill away. Um, it's not as scary as it seems. And so um, it drilled super clean. Um, the other reason I don't wanna use water is because I don't wanna chance that this label would come off. Um, if you wanna keep the label, I would definitely keep it. Of course, you know it has details about the bottle. So I'm choosing, again, not to use water. And that's kind of the main reason. And that, and I also don't wanna have my hands in water trying to drill this. So now that we have the bottle drilled, um, we're gonna go ahead and open the heart. Heart? I wanna say heart. Yeah, heart. Okay, so in another video that I referenced, I did not like how they went about choosing the layout of how to do this and kind of what pieces to use. Um, like I said, I have done this already once and I had what I felt like really good success doing so. So now that I have this open, let me show you guys up close of what it comes with inside of this package. So of course you have your finial or that's your finial, that's your harp, and then you have your electric wire, and then of course the piece that goes to it, your electrical piece that has a set screw. It does give you the option of having the wire come out the side if you don't want to drill this, but since you're watching this video, you probably already want to drill it. So the bottom should come off, and then this comes out, and that's where you wire it up at. Um, comes with your all thread, a nut, Two of these different caps, I'm gonna call it, and then a different finial for that. Now, this is the most important part that comes with this kit. Okay, so I was trying to decide the best way to mount, say, basically it's this part. How do you mount this part to the top of this line? Of course, I was I jumped to, okay, I'm gonna glue it, I'm gonna you know, some kind of epoxy it, um, but I wanted it to withstand being turned on and off. If you do choose to do a lamp shade, because you don't have to, if you don't want to, um, in this situation, we are going to be using a lamp shade. You could kind of glue it kind of like that. And of course, you know, this would go up like that. Um, I, I just want it to be sturdy. And so in the first video that I saw, they took the large size of this rubber, I kind of want to call it a spacer and he sat it on top and then did his whole little thing i don't know how to show you this basically he did this and it kind of just fell over and I, I, I don't know what his intention was he tied a knot on the cord and basically hoped that it would stay straight up it, it was it was not the best and so i was trying to figure out how to do better than that of course so what i ended up doing and I can throw this together real fast for you. You gotta remove this. Okay, so I loosened the set screw just a little bit. I'm screwing the all thread in as far as it will go. Loosen this a little bit more. Okay, to start with, it comes with two of these caps. 
And if you hold up the bigger one, it kind of, kind of, I don't know, almost is flush around the edges. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I prefer the little one. I think it sits a little bit more unified. I don't know if that's the right word. Basically, I feel like it sits, it looks better in my opinion. But hey, I mean, you do you. So basically, I've I put the base of the, the light bulb on it and then you put your, your thing, you know, I'm gonna mess that up again. You gotta, if you're using the lamp, you have to put the hearth, hearth, hearth on the fixture first, okay? And then I'm putting my, my smaller cap and I'm using the medium size rubber spacer that it comes with. And my initial thought when I was trying to figure this out is that I could kind of buy a cork, a cork screw, I, just like a cork, I guess is what they're called. And basically I was going to try to smash it down in here, cut the top off, kind of drill this down into it. And then I opened one of these packages. Basically I'm going to push this medium spacer all the way on. Okay, go a little bit more. And they are a very tight fit. Okay, I'm going to put my nut on the end of it. And I am going to tighten it just a little bit, just because I don't want it chance moving. And then I'm going to line this up kind of more center and I'm going to tighten my set screw. Okay, so this is your main, most important part of the whole lamp. Basically, we're going to shove this space, we're gonna force it into the bottle. And I, of course, I will show you that when we get to that step. So we can discard these pieces, open up this wire. Okay. So to feed this wire, I'm going to try to straighten it out a little bit and kind of add, well, I guess we're going to go that way with it. Now, without breaking the bottle, I'm going to feed this into the hole and basically feed it with the bottle upside down and feed the wire through and hope that I can make the wire come through. Now, you might have to fight this just, <clears throat> just a little bit or you feed, I fed too much into it and now I can't see it. I definitely fed too much in. So we're going to try this again. Keep the bottle, maybe whittle it a little bit as we go in. And there we go, we got it this time. Again, without breaking your bottle, because I almost dropped it. Okay, set that down. I'm going to feed a couple feet through this just so we can have some room to work on it. There we go, okay. So now that that's fed through and we have pre-built this, and you remember to put this bracket on, I'm going to feed my wire through it, and now we're ready to basically force it into the bottle. So keeping everything as straight as I can with the center of the bottle on my set screw, and of course there's going to be a little bit of play and we can always turn it later. Um, basically I'm going to force this in, and it definitely takes some force to do so. Now that is pretty straight and I can always straighten it up later. There it is. It's in there. It's held. You saw the amount of force that I had to put into it. I feel pretty confident that that's not going to move and that it's actually going to hold really well. So now that we have that done, we're going to pull a little bit more of this out and we're going to wire it up. Now, if you want to get a little bit closer on this, Basically, I'm going to bend the end of this wire just so it can go around these screws. You're going to have to loosen each side. And in, in a situation like this, it doesn't matter which color goes to which 
screw. There's no colors on this. Um, I think we're all good to put this on. Basically, you, I've loosened it and I've hooked it around this. There is kind of a little spot sticking up. That's actually where the wire is supposed to stick to. Now, if I did this correctly, it would go this way because you want to keep the screw in the wire tight. And if you put it the opposite way, so let's say we go this way, as I tighten it, it will sometimes try to push the wire out. You can actually see it's trying to push it out. So if you would point it in the way that the screw will be tightening, that will help make that a better connection. Okay, snugging those up. Okay, now we have to try to feed it back through the ball. And going backwards is a whole lot easier. Okay. Now, I don't know which way is, you know, on and off. So basically, I'm just going to set this here and, you know, from here you can put a light bulb in and figure it out. I'm actually going to grab a light bulb real fast and put that in so we can actually figure out which way to put it. Okay, so now that I have a light bulb, because I had to go find one, I'm just going to screw this in. And you know what, just to be safe, because we should be, I'm going to slide this back on. And I'm not pushing anything down yet. I'm just put that on so I don't chance grabbing the ends of the connectors. And I'm going to plug this in, and hopefully it works. And you know, that's kind of what we're aiming here for. It does, okay? So push it in, and that's off. Okay, I am going to choose to, when you push it in, that it's off, kind of, I don't know, that's what I'm doing. So I am going to now unplug it and take the light bulb back. All right, and take this, well, that's actually kind of the next step. So putting the sleeve, I'm gonna call it a sleeve, back on and make sure that you kind of have it all the way in. The, the black switch should be all the way to the top. And again, back to lining this one up, you kind of just push it down and there you have it. So the goal, you know, here is to keep everything straight. So now that I have that, um, let's put the fender roll part. Yeah, um, heart, fender roll. This is fender roll, this is a heart, I think. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze that, get those on, let the little caps come down. Light bulb is on, or in, and here we go. And we have a lamp. I mean, it's pretty straightforward from there. In this situation, you can put a lampshade on or have a decorative light bulb and a cool looking lamp. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you do try to do this, I hope it works out well for you. Please comment down, low, uh, down below and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I will try to get back to you. Thank you guys so very much for watching.